All right, here's a quick video just to show you how you can back up your files that are stored locally on your hard drive into OneDrive. The advantage of OneDrive, again, is that you can access those files from any computer that has internet access um, and also from your cell phone or an iPad uh, that has the apps for that. What we're gonna need to do is we need to know, first of all, what, your fol what folders or what files are on your hard drive. I get this question a lot. So anything under quick access here that you save in any of these folders would be considered your hard drive. If you see this PC and then documents like you see on the screen, that's saying that that's on this computer. The same thing can be done if you're clicking through down here and you expand the this PC option, anything right through here is on your local device. Anything that you see that looks like a cloud with OneDrive or OneDrive for Business or OneDrive Sulphur Springs, those are already saved in your cloud in the OneDrive, so you're good with those. You don't need to back those up again. What we need to do then after we've identified which files are here are on our uh, hard drive, so in my case I'm going to go into the Documents folder and I've got files in this folder right here that I want to upload. So I'm going to then go into my OneDrive through my Office 365 if I go to office.com I click on OneDrive, and after the page loads, you have options like this. So earlier I created a folder called Backup of Desktop Files, and I did that by saying New, and then Folder, and I gave it that name. Now, if you're uploading that, you can do it straight into OneDrive, but I prefer to go ahead and create a folder first that's gonna have whatever information I want, and then I click inside of that folder and that's where I'm gonna upload my other stuff. So earlier in my test, I went ahead and uploaded a file by itself and then a folder. I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Upload. I'm gonna select Files. I'm going to then pick the file that I wanted to upload, which in my case is gonna be this one. I can select multiple files by holding down the Control button and clicking whichever ones I want, or I can hold down the Control button and the down arrow I'm sorry, the shift button in the down arrow and it will select multiple files. Or I can also hold down shift after I select the first one I want and if everything else is in the list, I can hold it down and click on the last item and that will select all of them. And of course, if I'm really gonna select all of them, I can just click this little checkbox up here that will instantly check everything for me. In my case right now though, I just wanna upload this one uh, file. So I just select it I'm gonna say upload, and then right up here, you're gonna see uploading one item, and it will appear here once that's done. Once you see it in this folder, you know you're good. If I wanted to do the same thing with a folder, I can come up here and say upload a new folder. I just select the folder that I want. I can only do this one folder at a time, and say select folder. I'm not gonna do that this time just because I've already got it there, but you would see the same thing. That folder has 10 items. If I click on the folder, you can see that all those items were also uploaded into my OneDrive. So that now has created a new copy of all of those files in my OneDrive, and I can now get rid of them on my hard drive. Hope this video comes in handy. Thanks a lot for watching.